Hi, Vicki Cicliano here. So you want to share your Facebook business page with your friends, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do two very easy to use sharing features that are really easy. And I'm doing this video really quickly because somebody had asked me a question about this and I just set up a Facebook business page for them. So I want to make sure that they get most out of it. So here it goes, folks. So before you share your business page, it's important to make sure that you're logged in as you and you're not speaking in the voice of your brand. Now I, multi I manage multiple Facebook business pages that I created and um, you want to make sure that your name is going to be up there, your personal profile. Okay, so this way you're going to see the first feature that has been the most common way to share your Facebook business page. It's the suggest to friends feature. Okay, and you'll know if you're logged in as you or your brand because if you have your company here, you're not going to see this option because your company is not friends with people. They've business pages like other business pages but so you're going to invite your friends with this option right below the cover photo okay so you go down here on the right you'll see invite your friends now once upon a time it may have been really effective but I don't recommend bugging your friends who are bombarded with other pages suggesting that your friends like them so, um, so it creates a lot of noise but when you invite your friends if you just want to do it once twice close friends that's fine so let's see I'm gonna type in a name just like that okay and all Facebook is going to do is invite them so your invites have been sent quick invitation to your friend with no personal note or any message that you can add so I recommend not just inviting your friends this way that you know you're gonna suggest that they like your page but you're also gonna do it in a more organic way which I'm going to show you next it's like a diversifying your Facebook portfolio if you will when you share your content don't sink all your eggs into one basket you share in different ways so it looks natural okay so the next option for sharing is right here under your cover photo okay this is your cover photo your profile your Facebook business page name update page info and right here we have a cogwheel a little gear okay and it's about two three four five the fifth option down is share so when you click this share button a new update is going to be created in your newsfeed for your fans to see the share button is a really nice option that Facebook gives us they let you insert a brief message where you can list the benefits for liking the page in addition to just sharing a link right so give people a reason for people to take action and join you people have two seconds to give you their attention they want to know what's in it for them so maybe your message looks something like this help us oops please like our page and join us okay so help us get close to a hundred fans please like our page and join us you're giving them a reason and what they have to do this is your call to action so you may mention that you have contests free events a coupon something for liking your page whatever is appropriate that's much better than just a plain link with no reason for someone to click like You never know where when or how someone will be getting your shared link so make sure they're compelled to take action when you share your message okay so Facebook gives you four options you can share this update on your own timeline on a friend's timeline and a group on a page you manage or in a private message so you click the drop down menu to choose the one that you want now sharing your business page and a private message can be a nice option and I left this here didn't click this open the two speech bubbles in the middle of your updates notifications on the top of Facebook is your messages that people are sending you. these are two-way communications two speech bubbles so when you have a notification it's different than the multiple notifications you may get down here for everything else happening in the world the world icon um, so people might be more compelled to open that um, and take notice versus 10 notification updates but 
I just recommend that you use it wisely and don't abuse the privilege of sending someone a Facebook message, especially if you don't know the person. Start out on the right foot and share your page with people who you really feel would be interested in being a member of your Facebook community. Okay, so you're going to have your message. You've got everything filled in, which Facebook does for you. It's kind of nice. So you have your your profile picture which could be your brand logo for me just for now I, I put this as I'm waiting for my logo to be finished um, in develop in development and this is my business has my little snippet here how many people like it if I didn't want a thumbnail I could turn it off okay I'm gonna leave it there and then you choose if you want to share it public with your friends friends accept acquaintances you could do a custom you have to determine what's right for you and then you click share right so that were two ways that you can share your Facebook business page pretty easy right there's are there other ways to share your page well all you've got to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel it's even easier than sharing a Facebook business page so just click on the subscribe button right here and you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos for you with even more social media and online marketing tips post your comments I love to hear from you it's my goal to share tips with you to get more for your social media efforts make them say wow make it count thanks for watching